Hi folks, I was going to do a video about the death ray today, but um, the sun's gone in and the kids were running around so I'll hopefully get a sunny day when I ain't got two little ones running around. <laughs> so the death ray by the way is a solar reflector, but uh, I'll just get a quick update on garden. You might like to see my plums. <laughs> now I hope you can, but there you go. I'm quite pleased this year with this. This is the first time it's put on a really good show of fruit. Last I think it's about five or six years old this tree. We've had some fruit off it, but not a lot. Not like this year. It's really, it's really done well. Hopefully they'll uh, not all drop off. I'll just give you a quick look round. That's the plum tree. That's the old barbecue. That's my neighbour's house. That's our house. Back of the garage. The grapevine and the garden beds. Sped a good sped here. There's some patty pat squash and uh, cucumbers. And over here are the red currants. Don't seem to be as many on this year, but they're quite large. And the black currants, again, don't seem to be very many on, but nice currants and turning. some rhubarb first time this year had some problems with it but uh, hopefully it'll pick up and I've just planted this bed out and what I've got here as you can see some droopy uh, kohlrabi red and green there in the middle are some beets and at the very back are some uh, yellow swiss chard Might even get something else in front here then, as and when. Here I've got my corn, that's my first planting. Got a second planting here, which are a few weeks behind. And then what I'll do when I see field when I see I'm going to ground in fields here, and I'll plant that out with corn and get it as well. Do that as a complete bed. Might chuck some TP beans in there. I did before, but it seems to have I've got one. I don't know if they're rotted or but I've had some problems with some other beans which I've planted in pots and still didn't come. Well, I've got three out of a full packet. It's my biochar bed, or biochar test bed. Uh, or my biochar, not the good stuff I don't think. But, <laughs> but that's the 5%. Um, it's coming on, coming on, the kale, the kale, the kale's nice. That's the 10%, which is smaller than the 5%. and. That is the 0%, which is bloody lovely, if you excuse me. But as I said before, I think it was me. Um, I think it was a biochar, well it weren't biochar, I used it with charcoal briquettes, so... Some wild excursions, volunteers every year. Some more lettuce starts, unfortunately the slugs have had one. I've put some of these slug pellets down, which are not harmful to people and pets and wildlife. I wouldn't recommend eating them, but, but they're probably less harmful, but I can't compete with slugs. And over there is an andum bear, and I might have to end another one there behind it. They might have to cage them, depending on how big they get. But I want to be harvesting some of this stuff here. These, these are coming on now, these coal robber, they're quite nice. And these are a little bit behind, as I said, that's the 5%. And uh, 10%. Uh, the 10% are just that big and they're all planted at the same time so as I say that were my charcoal briquettes got some radishes going to seed here but I won't be keeping them these are the, the red and white ones that like are a mixed variety and they just shot off like that and they didn't really do much for a bulb there's one or two with a bulb on but they didn't do much for a bulb and other than they've all gone sorts of seeds, I'm not going to bother with seed, saving seeds from them. Some of the white radishes are also starting to go to seed, but I'm quite pleased with that. I'll collect some seeds off them because they're great. In fact, if you look, it's quite large, isn't it? <laughs> Still, I'm well impressed with them. And over here, the blue Hilda beans, they, did, they all come up brilliant. They're a bit slow at getting hooked on, but 
as soon as they get hooked on they shoot up like mad so again this is just some picking lettuce there's a few weeds and some uh, uh, borage in there oh yes and the special the sprout yeah that's my wife they do take quite a lot of space sprouts now I know I've only, I have only got one I've tried starting them twice and they just didn't, weren't having it and I got one plant so here it is I've got to look after it and uh, I'm not a big sprout lover but I did taste some from my father-in-law's last uh, father-in-law's garden last year and they were okay I wouldn't say they were fantastically nice but they were okay better than what I've always remember and been that's my mother pepper what I brought in what I, what I kept in I was going to dry, dry the peppers out on plant but my little children have decided to squeeze all the ends they thought it was fun but it's flowering up again now hopefully like I'll get a lot more peppers off this um, oh this is interesting now there you go have you ever seen such a pathetic melon plant I bet you haven't well you're going to there's an even more pathetic one <laughs> I'm gonna try and put that in ground and see if I can see if it see if it does out. And they're the th beans from the third setting of beans, the green beans. And I got three. And they're just some reserve uh, strawberries that I planted. And this is the bit what I did for for tomatoes and stuff. And and bear and the, there's uh, some lemongrass. A couple of pepper plants. They're um, they were looking very well, but they're um, California Wonder and my tomatoes in the wicking pots. I made some of the double oyers and I filed the holes out bigger so I could get water into them. Oh, pineapple, Swiss pineapple, there you go. Oh, they're the cuttings I took the other week from the um, lavender. As you can see, they've took some of them, have took some have died off, some have took. Which I expected, I said I'd get about 50%. And that's a look up. Oh, this monstrosity, see this wooden frame here, they're going to put a, a block here at the side of my house. That'll be wonderful. I hope it doesn't steal too much light. Well, I hope it looks alright, not like little boxes. But this is sort of view from the other end of the garden. Up to the top, that's the plum tree, the garage, and my junk pile. And that's about it. We've had just about the full tour today. Oh, they can see that. That's a slow worm or a blind worm. Great coppery colour. And it's been living under here and eating ants, which is very good. It's only to let him go and do his slow worm thing in the. Oh. They also pretend to be dead. I'll wait until he's gone on his way. Go on, on your way. And then I'll put this slab back so I don't squash him. Or her.